What's up YouTube? It's Russia and today I'm back with another video. This is the uh, full architecture rendering process. I started with the SketchUp modeling and then this video was supposed to be the V-Ray modeling. Uh, the V-Ray rendering, which is how I do the materials and all that, but I've come across a, a little problem, which is I didn't like the the model. It's not that I didn't like it, I just didn't feel it was uh, narrow. It didn't feel... Uh, it didn't have the look that I wanted. I wanted it to be simple, contemporary, really, really clean architecture, but that building just felt to me like a luxury pool house or something so I'll be definitely doing that model again uh, with a few changes but in a different setting but because I wanted to do a narrow house just wanted to, wanted it to be a little bit more narrow so I just cut the model in half and then just did a few adjustments uh, so how I do the V-Ray uh, modeling or like choose the materials so I would basically just choose colors from the SketchUp uh, color template and color them based on the materials that I want. So for example, all the frames would be in like dark black because I want it to be like dark chrome or uh, dark aluminium. And then the glass will be light blue and then the rest of the walls will be light gray because it's concrete. And then you'll just see how when I use the V-Ray, it's a lot easier for me to just pick up the colors and just to have them all apply because if you choose a material and then apply it it's just really crazy so right now if you go to your v-ray you can choose the color it says color preview make sure it's the color you want so if it's blue you know it's glass and then you press on import material and then just choose whichever glass that you want and all of these materials can be found online you can download them for free for a lot of websites so that's pretty much the, the only thing I do when I'm when I know that I'm gonna take this model to Photoshop. If I'm uh, doing like a full architecture rendering just in SketchUp and V-Ray, it's a lot more uh, not complicated, just a lot more uh, procedures. There's lighting, there's uh, materials, there's buildings, there's the sky. So uh, this is the only thing that I do when I know that I'm taking it to Photoshop. So if you wanna see. Uh, maybe another architecture rendering series if you want to see how I do the complete V-Ray rendering Please leave it in the comments down below so that I know or if you just prefer doing it in Photoshop then Whichever way it's easier for you. So for the output, I really choose just uh, uh, a Lower resolution just to be uh, just to test it out and I always have problem with the glass it's always dark because there's no lighting inside so you would see that I'm keep changing it just to find something that I like although I, I know that I'm gonna do it in Photoshop so in the end I just I think I stuck to a light blue color Yeah, uh, I just want to apologize while you're watching. I just want to apologize for not uploading this very soon. It's only because I I got really busy. I went to London and then Paris for like a week or so. So I've been really busy. When I came back, it was just so jet lag. And you know, when I just saw the project, I, I wasn't feeling motivated because it just didn't feel right. And you know, and just today, uh, yesterday and today, I was like, girl, you got to fix it. I'm going to fix it. So I just kept fixing it and it's a lot, lot different than it, than it, how it started. And I really wanted to skip all that and just, or maybe delete that video and just show you, oh, like, you know, the perfect version. Oh, this is the model and then this is the viewer rendering. But I'm really, I'm just trying to keep it real with you. And that's the thing about architecture. You know, it's one of the things about architecture is that you'll always change your project. <laughs> I remember I always used to before like my big review or like my big uh, what's it called jewelry I would always change and I would always panic and say oh maybe I should have done that maybe I should have done that and the problem with me is if it if it sticks to my head it just sticks to my head you know I just I can't see if I see a mistake or like what I think is a mistake it would just stay there and stay there and haunt me so I just 
uh, and I really wanted to do the other model and I really started doing it and then it was just like ah oh, guys I can't do something that I didn't feel like really excited about so now I'm really excited about this project it looks the way I wanted it like Japanese narrow house um, really clean with just the minimum colors or materials and then a little bit of vegetation and that's it so uh, then you'll see me in a minute I guess uh, playing with the materials so for some materials that I don't have a vis mat for like, which is like for V-Ray I just choose a picture online and just uh, use that in the editor in the SketchUp editor and then just fix the scale so I wanted to the vegetation where the vegetation is going to be to be horizontal to be really wide uh, and then the other scratch the other structure of the whole architecture to be uh, excuse me perpendicular and really thin to like to play with the textures and stuff so this is pretty much it the project I really hope that you enjoyed this quick video and I, I hope you find anything I did today helpful please give it a like and share it to your friends and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my videos and please Leave a comment, like, I really want to interact with you guys. Let me know what you guys think, what you want to see, what you want to do. Anything, really, just, even if it's about food. I always love food, <laughs> alright? I'll see you guys later. Bye.